Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time here. My name is Monisi and today I'm going to be showing you how I decorated this adorable plant shelf behind me. So the first thing I did was pot the plants that my mom got me. This pot was thrifted at my local thrift store. I thought it was so beautiful and I love the color and then this was given to me by my mom because I needed more pots for the plants. And then this next one we got at Menards which I thought was pretty simple and a neutral color and I thought it would look nice with everything. This is an ivy that my mom got for me. I think it's so beautiful. I like the light color around it. She got me this one and then one more type of ivy. I am not sure what the names are. I had the tags, but I forgot to read them. So this one's a little more green. And then she propagated her pothos. And so this is all of the propagation that she ended up getting for me. And then I'm just gonna divide these into maybe two or three. And I still need to get one more pot. I use this potting soil for indoor plants and this was actually my first time planting something in a long time. I would say over 10 years. <laughs> so it was kind of fun and I had to ask my mom like how do you do this again? And I definitely made a mess in the kitchen but that's fine. So here's what we're working with. We have this brass duck that my mom gave me. You've seen me give this a makeover and put lavender in it. This is an engagement picture of me and Andrew with a beautiful frame. I love those lovebirds so much. Um, this is just a fake plant that I got at Target. This is a little fairy house I got at the thrift store, actually. This door does open, so I can put stuff in here, which I think is so cute. Um, so I'm definitely using this on the shelf. And then this is a little, I don't know, it's like a little decor that my mom gave me. She's not using anymore. As you can tell, I really love birds. so. I use birds in a lot of decor, <laughs> just like my mom. Um, so we're gonna be working with these. So I have this idea, but I'm not sure if it's gonna work. Um, my great aunt on my mom's side, my Tia Maria, she used to paint on towels, like um, kitchen towels and stuff. She would paint on it. And then my grandma Delazia, she would, crochet around it like around the towel the border and everything and I really want I just feel bad using the towels because they do fade away because of the paint and stuff with um, if you do wash it too much so I want to put maybe one of them in a frame and put it on the shelf so we're gonna go upstairs and see if I can find the perfect frame the perfect frame and the perfect towel with like a very pretty floral painting that she's made before. So let's go do that and then I will show you guys what I find. So this is what I found so far. As you can see, Tia Maria 2004, she painted this. Um, it's just so beautiful. And then this is what my grandma did. And I was looking for a frame and then I found this one. And then that's my mama and that's my grandma, Delazia, and that's me. The last time we were in Brazil. So I think this is a really perfect frame to use. It just goes with everything else on the shelf, the color. And then I do probably think it's like a neutral, so then I can put a colorful painting inside the frame. And then I'll use another frame to display this picture somewhere else. So anyways, this is one of them. I think this one might be too big. I'm not liking this one for this project. So I'll put that away for now. 
this one, but I don't know if she actually painted this one. My mom will have to comment and let me know if she painted this one or if a friend of ours did. There's no signature anywhere, but there is some beautiful crochet to match it. See, like, you see what I mean? These are so beautiful. I just feel bad using them and having them fade away. So I want to figure out how to display them. You can see how glittery it is. It's so beautiful. Another one she painted. And I don't know if this is your first time watching my videos, but my our family is Brazilian. So I just love thinking about the both of them sitting down and painting this in their house in Brazil. This is just so beautiful. The bananas and how she painted them. And then it's just so special to me to think about the details that they put into this and that they thought to save them for me for when I have a house. So this is very special to me and I will never get rid of these. <laughs> One is beautiful as well. I think it's too big though. And you can see the details here. I think I found the one that I wanted though. It might be a little big still, but oh my gosh. Look how beautiful that is. I think it's perfect for the shelf. It might be a little big for this frame. So we're gonna see if it'll work. And I do want to keep this, maybe putting it here, but I just want to keep this beautiful keepsake and to remember my Tia Maria by. So, yes, I'm excited to see how this goes. I'm kind of scared to cut it, so I might have to fold the edges instead of cutting here. And what I'll do is the edges, I think I'm going to save for another project because it's just too beautiful to get rid of it's just so dainty and beautiful so yeah very special to show you this too I think this is my grandma that made this my mom will have to correct me also if I'm wrong she for sure made these but I think she also added these or this was also my Tia Maria I am not sure but it's just so cool how they did that and they knew that I really love color, so I think they left a lot of the colorful things to me. <laughs> this is what I was trying to say. This, I feel like it, you miss so much of the beautiful border, so I would probably fold it back and then I would cut this and put it down here probably but I'm gonna go see if I can find another frame that's a little bigger because oh, this is just so beautiful and I don't want to take away from you know I don't want to cut anything else so we're gonna go see if we find something bigger
I'm having my afternoon coffee in my Patsy Klein mug. If you're a Patsy Klein fan, we would get along just fine. So <laughs> I am in my bedroom right now and it is the most beautiful day outside. I open the curtains and natural lights coming in. And I feel super blessed to have natural light after living in basements for the past almost eight years of my life. <laughs> but um, I, I can't wait to be able to show you guys the transformation of this bedroom. There's so much to do still, so I don't want to even show you guys what it's looking like now, but it's definitely a cozy room and I love it. But anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was, I've always wanted plants and I could never have plants just because we never had sunlight in where we lived. It was just always, basements with very little minimal natural light coming in sunshine so I have always wanted plants so my mom actually gave me the ivies and the pothos is it pothos or po pothos let me know in the comments how you say it so <laughs> hope they don't die because this is actually my first time having plants and my mom said that they're easy they're easy to take care of so if i kill them maybe i just don't have a green thumb but we're hoping that they're gonna be fine <laughs> so i hope that you enjoyed the little decor that i made and i am going to see if i can find a bigger frame for my great aunt's painting which i think went so perfectly with everything else and it's just so nice to come into the living room and have plants now and just some greenery to liven up the space and just give it it's just a breath of fresh air walking in there now and i'm really happy and i'm so thankful that my mom donated that plant shelf because i didn't have anything to put plants in and i knew that that style would go very well with everything else. I have a lot of like Art Nouveau style like shapes and stuff. It's like retro with a little bit of Art Nouveau. So I think it's very whimsical. It turned out just the way that I hoped. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you watch the whole thing, I love you. I appreciate you. It really does help get my videos out there on the YouTube algorithm if you watched the whole video and don't just skip through it and liking commenting sharing truly helps so much so if you're not subscribed yet please make sure you subscribe down below and let me know what you guys think of this little shelf that i decorated what was your favorite part um yeah if you have any ideas let me know eventually i do want to put this in the other corner and then we're gonna put a buffet here like a buffet sideboard cabinet to have all of our drinks and so i'm excited to continue decorating the house and showing you the progress that we've been making so far so i really hope to see you next time and i hope you have a great weekend mm -hmm.